Good morning. Hi, Sean. Hello. Welcome to the nursery. <laughs> We're glad you're here. And uh, we just want to take a, a tour maybe and have you talk to some people that are working here, master gardeners, and come on over to the pergola because uh, we have three master gardeners working here. A social distancing, <laughs> Linda, Phyllis, and Becky. Okay. And we're all from uh, a new class, by the way. Yes, congratulations, newbies. <laughs> Thank you. We, love it. we love the nursery. Yes, and we're very glad you're here, too. Um, what they're doing is they're repotting plants uh, that have been in pots for probably a year, maybe. Uh, we hadn't been able to get to them because of the short staffed issue and having been closed also last spring but um we are our process right now is to repot as many plants as we can plants that need to be repotted and uh, let them recover over the rest of this cooler season and then we're going to be doing a lot of trimming and shaping before the new growth starts in the spring and hopefully that way uh, the plants will recover in time for a, a good spring where uh, Hernando County residents can come in and uh, purchase them for their Florida friendly landscaping. And um, we are going to have um, a program starting where we're going to be able to um, start some seeds in there for the spring. Uh, we haven't decided yet. We're looking for people to help us with that. Uh, we really um, would like to have a successful seed season this year, and we have a lot of expert seed people here, uh, Sean being one of them, and uh, of course Rita Grant and um, Alice also, I believe. So we can uh, we can go to those people for our resources and help with getting. Um, uh, solving some of the problems we've had in the past mm -hmm. and uh, in the future though when it warms up and we're ready to start seeds in there we'll have plenty of room for that so if you're interested in uh, seed propagation and have done that before maybe or if you haven't even done it before and you want to join us please do because we welcome any help um, this is a one of our display gardens and uh, we have been working on this, not recently because of uh, all of our issues with not enough help here, but we are hoping to be able to put some more plants in here on display because the plants will look so much uh, better in the ground, out of the pots, and the residents will have a better idea of what each plant is going to look like in their own garden at home. Uh, so we need people to come in and help with this project. Um, very fulfilling. Um, it looks pretty sparse right now and we really could use more people to help us with that. We'd welcome you. Okay, this central area is um, our rain garden area, which we haven't ever been able to get to. So another project in waiting, if people would be interested in doing a, a rain garden area we have um, this huge island here with a lot of overgrown plants in it. And that's another great area that somebody might want to do a project in with uh, re, re um, establishing some of our plants in there. Uh, a lot of things have been overgrown. It needs a cutting back or uh, switching out, whatever, um, that could make it a lot more interesting and um, also feature the plants that we would hope our Hernando County residents would be interested in. Um, one other thing or a couple other things to mention are, are different projects that we have right now that are going to be going on within the next week on January 11th. We actually have um, people who have volunteered to pressure wash our building. And that includes these three right here. And it includes our office shed. So um, we've asked for people to come and help. If you have a pressure washer, you could bring it. Uh, we have things that we do like that every so often, and we always need more help. 
And the other thing we're doing the next day is we have a huge debris pile in the back of the nursery that we're going to work on uh, whittling down, burning uh, what we can to get rid of it. Uh, this was totally full of things that were overgrown and um, ugly. They still have a ways to go as far as trimming back and um, cleaning up, but it's going to look uh, really nice. They took this project on um, with the okay of the nursery management team. We discussed it and uh, of course it needed to be done and they were happy to do it. It's It's been a good project and um, when it's done, it will look finished and um, very uh, inviting to the public. We also be able to feature some of the plants that have been here for quite a while and show uh, residents their, their natural growth pattern. And uh, it will be educational also. And <laughs> thank you, Barb. We're trying to maintain our <laughs> six feet distance yes. like everybody always oh, okay. does. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>